Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to do an FAQ on the Moto G6. So, Moto G6 is the latest uh, smartphone announced in India. The device uh, is priced 13 triple nine for the 3 gigabyte RAM and 32 gigabyte storage variant, and uh, 15 triple nine for the 4 and 64 gigabyte storage variant. So this device comes with 5.7 inch full hd plus resolution display and uh, this has snapdragon 450 octa core chipset so let's get started with the faq on this device so first up let's uh, see the sensors available on this device so we have installed the sensors app on the, the moto g6 and you can see all the sensors are included accelerometer magnetic sensor gyroscope light proximity sensor so all the basic sensors are included on this device so this does not miss, us, miss out on any uh, sensor now next up let's talk about the display so this phone comes with a 5.7 inch full hd plus resolution display and this is protected by cooling gorilla glass so this device has glass back panel uh, front and back uh, is made of glass and it has aluminium chassis so this device does have gorilla glass protection on the front and back now the display quality as such looks good uh, it is uh, good in terms of the color reproduction viewing angles are also quite good the touch response is extremely smooth and there are no issues uh, in the display department now uh, the phone uh, comes with uh, dual sim cards and 4g lte and volte support now there is a dedicated sd card slot available so uh, this device comes with uh, two sim card slots and a dedicated sd card slot so in case you want to expand the storage uh, using sd card that is possible without having to compromise on uh, one sim card now the phone does not come with a dual volte so we have uh, two sim cards uh, these are geo sim cards installed right now and the one now uh, which has data is the second sim card and you can see the first sim card does not have any any support for network so this does not have dual volte support now next up uh, the storage so this comes in two variants uh, uh, 3 gigabyte ram and 32 gigabyte storage variant 4 gigabyte ram and 64 gigabyte storage so now let's step let's talk about the fingerprint scanner so the fingerprint scanner is located at the bottom of the display and uh, we'll just uh, show you the fingerprint scanner performance here so there you go so it is quite accurate uh, it may not be the fastest out there it does take a second uh, to unlock but it is more or less accurate and there is device also supports face unlock you can set the face unlock from the security settings similar to the fingerprint scanner now talking about the software so this device comes uh, with uh, the stock android uh, we have android 8.0 out of the box you can uh, see the system settings so android 8.0 is the uh, version on the moto g6 and this comes with stock android and uh, the only additional app which comes on uh, the moto g6 is the moto uh, app so moto app uh, we all know uh, brings in a lot of features including moto key moto actions moto display and moto voice so these are the options and uh, you can use the fingerprint scanner uh, for one-handed uh, navigation so here one button nav is included so if you want to disable the on-screen navigational buttons and use the fingerprint scanner you can use that now the processor the snapdragon 450 octa core chipset is the one powering this device so, so it's it's more or less uh, uh, a slightly uh, higher performing variant of the 400 series but it's not as close as the snapdragon 625 it's slightly below the snapdragon 625 in terms of the benchmark score and performance but on the moto g6 uh, the performance was quite good there was no lag or issues and the gaming experience uh, we did uh, a detailed gaming test and found uh, the gaming to be quite adequate for this price segment it may not be the best out there but still you can play uh, most of the high graphic rich games in moderate settings so that's the processor now talking about the battery so this phone comes with 3000 mAh capacity battery and uh, uh, th there is turbo charging support on this device so the charging time was around 1 hour 40 minutes uh, or 1 hour 45 minutes on an average so that's quite good uh, charging type for a budget offering and the turbo charger is bundled with this device so that's the charging time and the battery performance you can get uh, a day of battery life uh, with uh, the 3000 mAh capacity battery since it has stock android you can uh, expect a day of battery life on this device so battery life is quite good for the uh, capacity it is being offered at now next to the speaker performance so we'll just open a video from our channel and show you how good the performance is So the sound output from the front firing speaker is quite good and it's loud enough and you also get a Dolby support here so you can see there, there is support for Dolby audio so the overall uh, sound, sound quality looks pretty good on this device. 
so that's the sound performance now let's talk about the led notification so uh, we'll just connect uh, the smartphone to the charger so this device has a usb type c port so we have connecting the charger so you can see that there is no led notification present on this device so uh, there is no led notification instead it has this moto display so if you want to use moto display just go here and configure the moto display and uh, you can see that our uh, moto display is included uh, you can keep the screen on while you're looking at it uh, then night display is there moto display uh, you can turn on what all display i mean the features you want to show so that's the only option available so there is no notification led present on this uh, device so next step let's talk about the usb otg functionality so we are just connecting a usb pen drive connected to an otg cable so this is the usb type c otg cable we are using so this device has type c uh, cable and uh, let's see so there you go you can see that uh, the sandisk uh, which is connected to this pen drive i mean uh, the cable is detected so this device it does come with usb otg out of the box so that's the usb otg functionality on the moto g6 the next step uh, the buying option so this device is available exclusively on amazon so this is available right now on amazon now for uh, 13 triple nine for the 3 gigabyte ram and 32 gigabyte storage variant and 15 triple nine for the 4 gigabyte ram and 64 gigabyte storage variant so that's the uh, pricing and availability now talking about the camera so this device comes with a quite good camera performance and we also done a detailed video on the camera of this device so this comes with a dual camera setup a primary 12 megapixel camera and a, a secondary 5 megapixel camera with f stop 1.8 aperture and a, a 16 megapixel front facing camera for selfies so that's the camera options now if you want to have a look at how good the camera performance is uh, check out the video on our channel where we have done a detailed camera review so those are the faqs on the moto g6 so we hope you have answered all your questions so if you still have any question on the moto g6 uh, do drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions so this is nirma signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day